In this video, we're going to solve a couple of problems, but we want to know the sum of all whole numbers from 1 to 100. And if you're curious about the backstory of this particular problem, just Google search Carl Friedrich Gauss 1 to 100, and there's a bunch of articles and videos going to pop up. But the big idea here is we come up with a pattern. So 1 and 100. Then we can go 2, like increase by 1, decrease by 1, 99. 3, 98 and 4, 97. Now we can see if there's something special. 1 plus 100 gives you 101. 2 plus 99 is also 101. 3 plus 98 is also 101. And 4 plus 97 is also 101. Now we need to think, how many numbers are there from 1 to 100? You might know right away it's 100, but maybe you might think what maybe it's 99 or maybe it's 101. To kind of counter that, let's choose a smaller set. 1, 2, 4. We get 1, two, three, four. So we see ourselves. there's only four numbers. So one to a hundred, there would be a hundred numbers and we're doing it in pairs. So one, a hundred, two, ninety-nine. So really we have 50 pairs and each pair is giving us a hundred and one. So we get a hundred and one times 50 pairs. Now we can do some quick mental math. Instead of saying a hundred and one, we can say we have a hundred plus one times 50. 100 times 50 would give us 5,000. 1 times 50 is 50, so we get 5,050. And so this right here is our final answer. And so if you add all the whole numbers from 1 to 100, you would get 5,050. Now let's make this interesting. We'll do two more examples. Determine the sum of all whole numbers from 1 to 200. That's very similar to the last one. And then this more challenging one. Determine the sum of all whole numbers from 1 to 151. But if you want, I recommend pausing the video now and attempting them. So again, we just find our pattern 1, 200, 2, 199, 3, 198. So 1 plus 200 is 201. 2 plus 199 is 201. 3 plus 198 is 201. And again, 1 to 200, we know there's going to be 200 numbers and we're pairing them, so 100 pairs, and each pair is giving us 201, and so 100 times 201 would be 20100. So we get 20,100 as our final answer. And so now for our more challenging problem. So 1, 2, 151. So we get 1, 151, 2, 150, 3, 149. And we see 1 plus 151 is 152, and we know 2 plus 150 is 152. Likewise, 3 plus 149 is 152. But we see 1 to 151, there's 151 numbers. So we don't have a perfect pair. So we need to think about this. And the way I like to think about things like this is let's work with smaller numbers. Let's say you have 1 to 5. So it's an odd. So 1, 5, 2, 4, and then we have a 3. 1 plus 5 is 6, 2 plus 4 is 6, and then we have our 3. And so we'll notice the median doesn't have a pair. Let's do another example. We can do 1, 2, 7. So we get 1, 7, 2, 6, 3, 5, and then we have our 4. Also the median, 1 plus 7 is 8, 2 plus 6 is 8, and 3 plus 5 is 8. And so the median is 4, so it's half of 8. Here, median was 3, half of 6. So with that, I think I know a pattern. So if I had 1 to 150, that's 75 pairs. So I'm going to put 75. I'm going to multiply by 152. But I need to address that last median number. So we take half of it. So 152, we divide it by 2. And if we do the math, we'll get our final answer. So 75 times 152 plus 152 divided by 2. If you go ahead and use a calculator, you will get 11 Four seven six, so eleven thousand four hundred and seventy six as our final answer, and that's all we need to do for this problem. 